This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Who's ready for a nice refreshing jump into Mock Chuck Lake? This polar plunge helps a local school and we have more information on it next. Welcome everyone, get warm, get comfortable, and get ready for some local information from SSP TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. I'm Ken Kerr and let's get right to it. To plunge or not to plunge, that's the question being asked by the 7th Annual Be Cool for Our School Polar Plunge to benefit Marion Catholic High School in Tamaqua. We have a DJ that okay. comes every year, John Dawson, and he's fabulous. Um, and we have uh, a polar bear costume and a chicken costume because if you are too chicken to plunge, you're a chicken like me. So this is for Marion Catholic. It's a fundraiser for the school. Um, and can the public come? I mean, can someone just sign up and say, hey, I want to come? Or is this a school community thing? It's both. Um, people, certainly we are asking for school people to come out and try it. Um, but it absolutely is a community event. There's no fee for spectators. And anybody who wants to jump, I mean, we take everybody. We don't. We don't care. You can come in costume. We've had people do that too. We've had a bride and groom jump in. We've had Mario and Luigi jump in. <laughs> but yes, people come. Usually, people do not pre-register. They come the day of the so event. You come that day, okay. Absolutely, you come the day of the event. You sign your papers. And we're good to go. How would you sell it if someone's watching right now and they're like, no way, you know, I'm not getting off the couch and jumping in a lake, but what sells this? I mean, is it just that feel, that freeing feeling, I mean, of being out there and, and doing something maybe a little crazy? Well, we've had people do it in honor of their birthdays, like milestone That's birthdays. Okay, yeah. okay, like I did turn 50 this year, but that's still not an excuse not, for me to do it. You're going to be the chicken? Yeah, yes, okay. I will be the chicken. Absolutely. I have a chicken hat, actually, <laughs> <laughs> that plays the chicken dance. <laughs> but it's just people who have done it say, that it is the most fun thing that they have ever done. It's the craziest thing they've ever done. And a lot of people just say, I've had this on my bucket list and I wanted to do it, so now I'm doing it. The plunge is this Saturday at noon at Mock Chunk Lake in Jim Thorpe. Registration is 10 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. The cost is $35 and includes a t-shirt. For more information, call the number on your screen. You can also check out MCHS Polar Plunge on Facebook. Well, if this cold weather is not for you, how about a nice warm breakfast from Frankie's Restaurant in downtown Hazleton? The perfect way to start any day. Back inside Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant in downtown Hazleton with Lauren Sacco, one of the owners. Lauren, a few Saturdays ago, I'm sitting around with my wife. I have a thing of yogurt and a sad cup of coffee. And I looked at my wife and I said, do you remember the holy cannoli French toast or the cannoli French toast we had at, at Frankie's? And she's like, why don't we go there more for breakfast? And I said, exactly. You have some delicious menu items and breakfast every day. We do. We serve breakfast every day. Um, it's about year three that we're doing breakfast, two and a half, almost three years. Um, and sometimes we're a forgotten little gem when it comes for breakfast. Weekends are big on breakfast, um, but we do do breakfast seven days a week. You could get a Greek omelet, a farmer's omelet, holy cannoli pancakes. You could build your own breakfast jam but which is very similar to the jam that we've done in the previous segments yeah, with you. Um, the only difference now is we add scrambled egg to it, so it gives it a twist for breakfast. Um, we offer <coughs> breakfast delivery beginning every day at 9 oh, o'clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can get yourself bacon, eggs, coffee, toast, and we will deliver to you. That's amazing. I also want to talk about um, there was a Wassel Fest in downtown Hazleton, and you stopped at all these different places, and you got a little alcoholic beverage. I came in here, and you're saying, what does this have to do with breakfast? I came in here, and I was, I was like, I needed a little break, and your mom had coffee. We did. And we have a flavored delicious. coffee line And now here. I think, like, in the morning, I could stop in here. You guys have a pretty good, co pretty mm -hmm. good coffee here. Yes, our coffee, we're very particular with our coffee. Um, I actually, myself, am not a coffee drinker, so we rely more on my mother and my sister and their taste for the coffee. But we use a very good roasted bean. It's freshly ground in the back before we bake the cup. Um, and we do different flavors all the time. Like coming up for summer, we're featuring coconut cream. Um, right around Easter, we had holiday eggnog. So we just do different flavors to kind of give it a little bit of a twist on your breakfast ritual. And the nice thing is you do have those different menu items. If you are kind mm -hmm. of sick of having the country omelet all the time, try the jam but or mix mm -hmm. and match this. I mean, there was meatball in my jam but, which, yes. which was amazing. So and what time do you serve breakfast until? We serve it all every day until 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. So mm -hmm. that's a nice frame of time, too. Mm -hmm. So stop down Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant in downtown Hazleton. Now for weather on SSP TV News.
Things are going to heat up a bit toward the end of the week. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service. Tonight is cold, partly cloudy, low of 12 degrees in our area. And then on Wednesday, sunny skies, highs in the mid-30s. Wednesday night will be mostly clear with a low of 18 degrees. Partly sunny for Thursday with a high of 40. Thursday night, mostly cloudy, low of 21. Mostly cloudy again on Friday with a high of 40. At night, a 50% chance of snow. We will have a low of 29 degrees. 70% chance of snow on Saturday. Cloudy with a high of 35. 60% chance of snow on Saturday night will have a low of 29 degrees. A big win for the Marion girls basketball team on Monday. Let's get to the SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard. The Phillies knocked off the Schuylkill League Division II leaders Myersville 51-35. Emily Shod, who came back from a knee injury not too long ago, led all scores with 19 points. Marion is 6-2 in the Schuylkill League behind 8-0 Monoy area who beat Tri-Valley. Jordan Carmonic had 15 points in that one. She now has over 1,000 points in her career. Up in Division I of the Schuylkill League, North Schuylkill improved to 7-1 and, and Tamaqua to 6-2. and two. Both area, both of them are behind on beating Jim Thorpe. The Lady Spartans beat Lee Heighton with Cameron Mangle scoring 24 points. Emma Kaczynski and Emily Titus had 17 and 16 points in the Lady Raiders win over Pottsville. Shenandoah Valley beat Schuylkill Haven with Victoria Donovan scoring 24 points and Abby Conroy adding 10. In the Wyoming Valley Conference, Hazel Tenaria beat Crestwood, Marissa Tribal Peace, and Olivia Wolf both had 15 points for the Lady Cougars. Also in the Wyoming Valley Conference, MMI lost to Wyoming area. Kim Amentler led all scores with 17 points for MMI. The Penn State Hazleton women are still going after a Penn State University Athletic Conference playoff spot. They beat Penn State Schuylkill. Scarlett Vargas had 12 points and 12 rebounds, while Katura McCorkle had 10 points and 16 rebounds for the local Lady Lions. The MMI boys lost a non-league game to Roberto Clemente Charter in overtime. MMI's Drew Sheeler had a game-high 25 points. In wrestling, Hazel Tenere lost a non-league meet to Garnet Valley. Coming up, we take an in-depth look at the Pennsylvania State Police's popular camp cadet. And in sports, John Eric Poli interviews another up-and-coming MMA fighter in his counterpunch segment. We'll be right back. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. Congressman Matt Cartwright will be hosting a coffee event in Hazleton tomorrow night from 6 until 7.30 p.m. at the Hazleton One Community Center. Everyone is welcome to attend. The Puerto Rico Emergency Relief Drive will be held this Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. at the Hazleton One Community Center. For more information or to volunteer, you can call one of the three numbers that are listed on your screen. And Corks and Chocolate 2020 will be held this Saturday from 2 until 5 p.m. at the Walk-In Arts Center in Schuylkill Haven. Ticket information is listed on your screen. For more information, you can go to walkinartscenter.org. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SPTV News, I'd like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Dorothy Marie Adamchik of Weston, Mass be Wednesday at 10 a.m. at Sacred Heart Roman Catholic Church in Weston. The Harmon Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Kevin M. Hess of Tannersville, friends may call Friday from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. at the William H. Clark Funeral Home in Stroudsburg. And Gertrude M. Opert of Freeland, the McKee Will Check Funeral Home, will announce the arrangements. Today's social and obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.